Let's write these numbers in order from smallest to largest. In order to do so, let's first find the decimal equivalent of 4 ninths by dividing 9 into 4. And I'll put a decimal point and some zeros down. And now here's the decimal point in my quotient. How many times does 9 divide into 40? Well, 4 times 9 is 36, and my difference is 4. Bring down a 0. Watch carefully. 4 times again, 4 times 9 is 36. My difference is 4. Bring down a 0. What's going to happen each time? What will happen each time is that these 4's continue indefinitely or forever. So the decimal equivalent of 4 ninths is actually 0 decimal point 4 with a bar over the 4 showing that these 4's continue. For the moment, so that we can compare decimal place by decimal place, I'm going to write this as 0.444 and I'll put a few more fours down there. So the decimal equivalent of this fraction, I'll write simply as this for the moment. And then I'll write this one down, four, five, four, and then four, four, five. And now let's compare place by place. First, the tens place. They're all the same. Then let's continue to the hundredths place. Now notice these two have four in the hundredths place. This one has a five, so this is the largest. And I will write it last. Zero, decimal point four, five, four. Let's continue on with simply these two. And then let's go to the next place value. Here I have a four. Here I have a 5, so this is the smallest, then this is in the middle, and this is the largest. So instead of writing this, I'll write 4 ninths. It is the smallest. Next is 0, decimal point 4, 4, 5, and the largest is 0, decimal point 4, 5, 4. There I've written from smallest to largest.